By dumb having sense, I think you can solve that one. I have the marker, so I would assume that. You once did all kind of. Yeah, you've done it. So uh, you like, need to change your team. You think? He wants to see, cause this game has size differences. He wants to see a weasel that is bigger than the one he has. So you need your biggest weasel. Hey ladies, wanna <laughs> see my big weasel? <laughs> you need... I need to remember where the thing is. Dumb joking aside, it's the sort of fear I had with like Breath of the Wild that then came to fruition, I'm just saying this now, that I think an open Polygon game is likely going to have, and I say likely, because I will be this guy. If the game is fine and fixes my problems or handles them in a way that's not stupid, mm. I will admit that I was worried for nothing, but I'm just making assumptions based on other... But I will also be uh, that uh, guy and say the problems we have with open world are sort of fundamental problems. Problems with open games. Like, again, I'll use this game as a perfect example as to why I think it's going to have the same issue. Again, like, the gastronaut I'm keeping around is, like I said, a really good example. And because this is a traditional Polycon game, this would be a traditional Polycon game's abilities. So, that shit could make it <sighs> even, uh, like, could basically make it even worse of you using a... Ah, uh, oh, oh, man, where's... You have a few weasel in here, but you How may... do you check their size? I think it's in the summary. Oh, yeah, height. Two feet, six inches. I will go as the biggest boy, then. Two feet, four. Yeah, that's a lot one was bigger. Yeah. It's like... What I was going to say, because I could see other people bringing this up, like how this game and this rule I'm mm. sure is likely going to slip in to the game, into the new gen as well, this game, unlike every other Pokemon game, if you catch a Pokemon and it's over the control level, you cannot control it, even if it is your own, um, even if it is your own Pokemon. And this game seems to have introduce that little rule, and I bet the Gen 9 game. But that's why I said I feel like even if people are like, oh, uh, but they uh, prevent you from... Uh, so people are like, oh, they pre prevent you from controlling over level ball on seeing it's a balance. That doesn't prevent you from beating them. Again, using an oddly specific type matchup, like, if there is a natural in the wild, like, anything from the Garchomp line, and it only has, like I said, dragon and ground damaging moves, Togetic is immune to that thing. Yes. Meaning, a level, like, fucking 30 Togetic could kill a level 100 Garchomp and get a fuckload of experience out of that. Oh, you could actually access the... Huh, the, the game's... Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Okay, uh, nature bitch, then. Let's see which one is uh, a worse nature. You can also go out in the boonies and try to catch a even bigger weasel. Since that one's neutral. That one's pure neutral... Alright, I'll check the summary of the other one. I can do that from this menu, right? Yeah, check summary. It's a worse nature. You do either... On worse nature, level 2. This one's level 17. 
Fuck, I'll get rid of this one. Might as well, I guess. Oh! Ah! Uh. No, you I, can't even... I can't use either of these. So, out in the boonies we go, then! Yay. Which, which is funny, because the game had that weird register that you call bigger weasel, but he wants arbitrarily bigger, bigger weasel, so you need I to... I think the, like... I think the registry was... Is that Clay just registering the class itself, not, like... Kind of funny, though. Yes. Anyway... If the game does work very similar to to this game, then there's going to be kind of that weird stopgap for a minute that higher level Pokemon are likely going to ignore you and that's going to be done to limit catching things to keep you from completely breaking the game. But that's why I said, well, uh, that would... Would prevent you from breaking it in terms of catching. That's not going to prevent you from breaking it in terms of finding oddly specific ways to cheese out a KO on something with abilities or, or you know, other cheesy moves like sleep or whatever. I was going to say unless they finally, and this rule would be kind of dumb, but would it sort of exist? This rule would be kind of stupid. But it would be sort of a rule that would kind of need to exist in a scenario, in a game like this, which is basically, if you're, like, if you grind a Pokemon, and it goes past the level you can control it, anything on your team just stops listening to you, and that's, like, the only way... Is that everything you have... But they're not going to do that, because if they did that, people would complain uh, that the game is punishing them for exploring. And we'll see what happens when we get there, but my whole thing it would... Hey, there's a weasel. You need something bigger than two feet eight inches. That's my whole, like, thing with Pokemon. The physical special split is the best thing in Pokemon from a design standpoint, but it created a problem where there's just... Rock is, like, almost entirely inaccurate physical moves with no good special moves. That one looks kind of tiny. That's why I'm skipping it. And if anyone's going to say that Rock has Power Gem, oh, that's a great special Rock move. That nobody gets. Because again, they they decided to be incredibly literal with that move, and the only things that get are Polycon that have literal gems on them. That's why Persian can get it, yeah. because when it evolves, there's the gem on its head. Which creates this fun thing. They're like... Power Gym, logistically, out in the, yeah, out in the water. Number of large species, you just got a large update, so that seems to, like, you got a large update flag, so it seems like it's detecting something abnormal. So maybe you got... I'm jumping all over the place. Mm. Oh, wait. Edit. Power Gym is learned by, like, way more non-rock types than rock types. Because I... Not that most rock types can make use of it anyway, because most rock types are lampooned into being physical attackers. Because rock is still designed like how it was in Gen 1, where back then it was supposed to be a high risk, high reward type because it had high damaging moves but low accuracy, but now you have a bunch of moves that just fundamentally break that concept. Like, Rock Slide, when it was introduced, 
it made sense being as inaccurate as it was because it was the highest powered move with the highest flinching chance, so being able to miss makes sense. But then power creep happened and they created Iron Head. You and Iron Head. It is stronger and it is stronger. I would say it probably is a better typing because less I'm I think resist it. And it it has the same flinch chance, and it is on just as many things, if not more. Did we get a winner? 2.5. 2.9! Hold on, I, I need to check the nature because now my logic's gonna be fucking adamant. Uh, I, I saw attack, so I thought it was adamant for a minute. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Woohoo! The biggest weasel. Anyone, it's like... Ideally, I want them to go back through Pokemon and create a bunch of moves to do better physical and special splits, but I also want them to just update a bunch of yeah, shit. Yeah, why not, uh, like, create... Not just create a bunch, like, feel... They really should. should massively update modern move sets, like, cause, and we can always point this out if anyone is like, oh, they don't like normally buff moves. Fucking Leech Life went from a move that's super irrelevant that no one would seriously use to one of the single strongest. Physical bug moves and all Pokemon. Mm -hmm. It went from 20 to 80. Uh, like, some. Again, a group of moves that I feel like really do need a buff in power are the. Honestly, this one. 2.9. A, uh, a group of. Um, uh, like, oh! Yeah. And what's funny, because. Yeah. Th that's a good example where you gave him a slightly bigger one, so it's slightly bigger. If, if you had went out of your way and caught, like, an alpha that was, like, four foot, it would be, like, up here. Yes. <laughs> but, yes. Like, uh, in a group of moves that I feel like really do need a buff... Are the moves that are accuracy ignoring like aerial ace and shit? Because like someone and said, uh, Chansey has not uh, lost its girth between the generations. It has stayed very rotund. Mm -hmm. Back when those moves were created, again that that shit kind of made sense. But now there is so uh, much power creep. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna break through. Chansey was a power sixty move. Let's see, like, uh, can I, what's the Zubat's, uh, That's the thing about, like, freaking Bogon, where so many moves I do feel are kind of outdated in a lot of ways, just bit Oh, you have one, Zubat. I thought I had yeah. one. Zubat doesn't have eyes. Oh, I'm checking a uh, summary. If I... Okay, if I do end up having to give it, uh, then it's not... No, she it. just it, said it, shell. Yeah, it's just a shell. In my alternate playthrough, because I have a shiny Zubat, if you do these quests... With shinies and stuff, they are on model, so well, I need because to... Because it's... This is an engine. Yeah. It's an in-game cutscene, so, so... I need to do that with the shiny. Make that a thumbnail. Anyway. Get a partner to do that. The bulletin board request, because I just missed it and forgot to pick it up. This is 
of the alternate take where this woman wants to see a Zubat, but because all these quests are in freaking engine. <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah. I love this class though. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. Sweet. And it looks like I can start the farm. That's great. And it seems like you kept the Zubat. Neat. I think. So damn it. Jumping all over the place. Mm-hmm. Ideally going forward in Pokemon, I would love for certain types to get massive changes going back to what we were talking about a minute ago with that as a idea rock is almost all semi inaccurate physical moves and there are only like three special rock moves that have ever existed in Pokemon and they're all Booty. Okay, two of them are booty. I think it was three. Yeah, it is three. It is Power Gym, it is Ancient Power, and it is Meteor Beam. Okay. Yeah. I did have, yeah. Power Gym! And that's how you give up the photo. It's, I'm giving yeah. up a Geo, dude, and I really don't care. Not like I nicknamed them, I'm probably not going to use that. Power Gym is a damn it. Power Gym is just an 80 power, 100 accurate move. Yeah. Power Gym's good. It's just hmm. nothing can learn it. Ancient Power is fine with the weird Omni Boost bullshit. I get <laughs> why. I get why Ancient Power is five shots. But I kind of feel like it shouldn't be five shots. It's only like a 20% chance for the Omni Boost. Either raise the Omni Boost to be like fucking 50 or something, but it's five shots, so therefore you can't naturally get the plus uh, a six. Or increase it to 10. At least make it 10 shots. And then we have the conflicting move, Meteor Beam. I hate that move so much. On the one hand, I get it. On the other hand, I find it stupid because Meteor Beam is a two-turn move where the turn you charge, you build up power and gain a plus one special attack just for clicking the move. And then the move is fired the next turn. So you're always technically firing it at plus one, but that creates a weird thing where, like, even if you use a herb, you basically get one kind of powerful, semi-accurate rock move that you're going to fire. Because fi there's no other way than a herb to make that fire yeah. instantly, I think it should have not been able to miss. I really think it should have had 100 accuracy. Okay, who do... Who wants these apologies? Because I activated the marker, yet nothing is showing up. I don't re remember who I got this quest from. Actually, wait, that's. Actually, wait, that's in the complete. Can you just keep giving that guy apologies and. You're gonna keep getting stuff out of it? Is that why the marker didn't mm -hmm. show up? Because, look, it's... Oh, no, it's, it's, just, mm -hmm. it's just the way the menu is designed. I thought like that was in the middle of the... Just a... That one 
with a boy. It seems like you never handed those off. Uh huh. Anyway, Wait, actually, no. I... No, I just encountered a glitch. The game seems to have thought I didn't complete that when I did. Because, look, it's not in the list anymore. Oh, nope, there it is. Yeah. I moved up top for some reason. Now, let's see. Okay, I don't... I still don't know who I'm supposed to give this to. I think the kid that wants Pokeballs is by a bridge. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, this question is a bit more topical than our questions usually are. This is an actual question related to Pokemon. Fancy that shit. But anywho... Do you agree with the point we were trying to make about the physical special split? I think the physical special split is the best mechanical tweak Pokemon has ever made. However, I feel like the physical special split is fundamentally flawed in a few ways that have never been fixed. Rock type moves especially are basically almost all physical except for moves like Power Gem, Ancient Power, and Meteor Beam, and most of the special attacking rock type Pokemon that would want Power Gem can't actually get Power Gem. I know most rock types are physical, or at the very least, slightly more mixed, but it annoys me that Power Gem is hyper-literal, where if you actually look at the distribution for Power Gem, it's actually given to a lot of non-rock types, because like Carson said, oh, it has a gem on it, so therefore it gets Power Gem, and I really do feel like they need to fix this, and by fix this, I mean I want a few other physical and special moves for types that lack one or the other, like fairy type basically only has two physical moves and that's the um, same idea. Fairy is almost universally a special attacking type. But the other thing that they need to do, and this is more of a bonus question, so, do you agree with this point? Because it was the follow-up point we made. I want them to go back and change a bunch of moves that currently exist. Because my biggest problem with rock type at the moment, rock used to be slightly more powerful than average. But to make up for this, rock type moves were inaccurate. And the other reason that Rock was designed this way, a bunch of Rock types were available early on in Pokemon. So you would actually get really powerful stab options incredibly early. But to make up for having those stab options incredibly early, the moves were slightly more inaccurate than normal on top of being slightly more powerful than normal when compared to other things, even though that sort of falls apart anyway, seeing as a bunch of similar moves like Flamethrower has always been consistently good and has perfect accuracy, but if you're going down the learn set argument, Flamethrower is normally learned incredibly late or hidden behind a TM or TR, Whereas a lot of rock moves are actually learned surprisingly early by a lot of rock types. But I'm starting to ramble. My main point here is this. I want them to go back and increase the accuracy of a bunch of rock moves. And if you really 
think the power is too high, either drop the power or get rid of the secondary effect. And a lot of people have actually said that they would rather have a power buff to a move like Rock Slide, buffing it from like 75 to like 85 or 95 if you just take away the flinch chance since rock slide is incredibly unique in doubles because it's a spread damage move and its accuracy is somewhat inaccurate because it has a high chance to flinch which is funny because Curzon will always go on this rant and say that iron head has basically the same flinch odds and is stronger, and has perfect accuracy, but the only weird caveat for Rock Slide, oh, and doubles, it's a spread move, and it can cause flinching to both targets, so therefore the accuracy needs to remain semi-inaccurate, but at that point, just remove the flinch chance from the move and buff the power, or make it so that because it's a spread damage move, that the move, if it causes a flinch to one Pokemon, the other Pokemon cannot actually be flinched. That way, there is some balance, and I would actually think that as a balancing act would be cool for a lot of spread damage moves that have a secondary effect. It can only affect one target, but at this point, I am rambling well beyond my initial point here you can leave your thoughts opinions and answers in the comments or you can leave them on social media all of my social media links as well as my discord links are in the video description now as always i need to be a shield for a minute if you subscribe to the channel and if you follow me on social media that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope I will see you all next time. So as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.